back again on point and on topic. I want to talk about dead bodies, carcasses from an overseas perspective. Now, a lot of y'all probably watched my documentary um, and you've seen that I've taken you to the Grand Cemetery whatsoever. Now, you've seen in one of the, you know, in the documentary Expedition that I was by Tipis Lacroix, his, uh, you know, uh, Agatois or altar whatsoever in the cemetery. You've seen a human skull on there. Now, I want to talk about the ritual from a ritualistic perspective about bodies whatsoever different cultures um, they may use different body parts but I just want to keep it general see when you're talking about the bodies of the dead in America people can't do that because it's against the law when you're in a third world country you know you can find these things with ease body parts, graves. I mean, it's, you know, I'm not going to say that it's completely legal, but I would definitely say, you know, when you're in a third world country, the laws get bended, you know, whatsoever. But the body of a human being, when it expires from earth, is uh, still imbued with essence. The individual's essence that's why you hear in Africa, some places in Africa, they chop up certain people whatsoever because they believe that they have certain qualities whatsoever. So when it comes to the working perspective, you find people in Haitian culture that say if you're trying to get someone to do, you know, the spirit of someone to do evil, you know, saying you go to the grave of someone who is in the military. But in America, I heard that you go to criminals and things of that nature whatsoever. You know, um, but in Haiti, we look at it as though it's mainly the military people as well as, you know, when, you know, but mainly, well, I'll just say this, we mainly talk from, um, a military perspective, you know, I guess it's more of these guys are, they, they're sound for taking orders and things of that nature. You know I mean? Just to infiltrate, you know, infiltrate, uh, individual whatsoever, you know, uh, every individual has characteristics you know every individual has characteristics you know and when they uh pass on their body still has a connection to their spirit see in america i know that a lot of people they they, they use the dirt from the grave it's all radiating from the essence of that human being you know what I'm saying? So, you know, for those of you who are in Apollo Mayombe, you know, you guys, you know, in your your uh in Ganga, some of you have human skulls whatsoever. You know, same concept, you know, you're using the muerto, you know, you're using the muerto or the dead as your slave to carry out your deeds. Each individual has their own temperament and what they both call is using the skull for or the body parts for is to make contact with that spirit you know but in america is different you know it's a, it's a thing of like uh how can i say this it becomes something where we look at it like uh it's it's like a con it's like a contagion you know or a contagious influence the law of contagious basically takes its play in this here you know because the thing is you're utilizing the dirt that has been in contact or moisturized with the essence of the body's decay so that dirt has the essence so that's why you find people in the u.s they basically use the dirt instead of like foreign countries where they use the bones of the living itself you know um so, you know, I just want to touch on that because someone was talking about, you know, the ritualistic, you know, things behind the, 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 the bodies of the dead whatsoever, you know. But I definitely want to say this, 
You know, I would I do not recommend, you know, people in the US to basically attempt this because you will definitely get hit with some serious, you know, years for breaking into like cemeteries and basically, you know, digging up bodies whatsoever. Now in Haiti, this is a different story. You can buy these things. You can go to the cemetery. You find body, like, you know, bones of humans everywhere in, a, in, in certain cemeteries. It's easy, you know. But again, you know, I, I definitely say for you people, be very careful. Because I know there's people that try to go to, you know, these foreign countries and enter with human bone, like human bones, whatsoever. Listen, don't even do it. Because if I'm correct, I think you'll be charged. I think they'll actually charge you for homicide. You know, if you try to enter into the U.S. with human bones. So I say, listen, man, you know, you know, don't even attempt it. And another thing I'd say about this is um, be careful. Wherever you, you know, whatever means, if you're even going to play it on a, on, a, on a down low, on a low key and do some illegal shit, man, listen, you know, don't, don't put yourself in that predicament because, one, when you're doing that, you got to have a lot of experience. By you even disturbing the grave of a deceased individual, you're basically making it, you're, 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 you're increasing your chances of not only the law, but spiritual consequences. Because some of these spirits will basically come and fuck you up. You know what I'm saying? For fucking with their graves. Be cool, man. Be cool. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, um, listen, another thing is, I've, I've actually heard of people desecrating people's graves. Listen, man, you know, that's only an ignorant person would do so, something like that. Desecrating some somebody's grave, you know, you're only asking for consequences. But some of these people are so deaf, dumb, and blind, you know, when they do these acts, they don't realize the circumstances that are occurring in your life is because of the reaction of the things they've done. You know what I'm saying? But anyhow, this was my take on, you know, dealing with the dead whatsoever, mainly in the carcasses manner whatsoever. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.